All right, here's how to do problem 60 from the math homework. So we have f of x equals 4 to the power of x, and we have to graph it and completely describe it. So I started out by making a table, and I just plugged in some point, some x, um, x values into this equation. So for example, if you plug in 0, you get 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. And then 4 squared is 16. And also, whenever you use a negative number, it's going to be a fraction which is also why there's an asymptote at y equals zero because it can never be negative. So, um, once we have our ordered pairs here, we can graph it. And I counted by fours on the y-axis just because it was easier to make the graph. So, here's the graph and then we just completely describe it. So it's an exponential function. You can tell just because of the shape, and then it's increasing because when we look left to right, um, as the x increases, the y values increase for the whole thing. And there's also a horizontal asymptote at y equals zero, which I explained earlier. Um, it can never go into the negatives because even when x is negative, y is just going to be a fraction. So we, there's also the y-intercept at 0, 1, and there's no x-intercepts because, you know, it, it never crosses the x-axis because of that asymptote. And then domain is all real numbers because you can plug in into anything for x and it'll just get closer over here and then go on forever up there. The range is y is greater than 0 because it can never touch y equals 0. And it's continuous because I could trace the entire thing without picking up my pencil, and it goes on forever. And also, yes, it's a function because, as we can see, for every x value, there's never going to be a repeating y value. Like, it's basically there's one output for every input. So, this has been problem 60. Thanks for watching.